Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below, your purchase and pricing question email line for buying this or any watch you see here or on our website. Email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today, we're discussing what might be one of the rarest Alanga Unzona timepieces ever made. Launched in 2008, this is the Alanga Unzona Cabaret Tourbillon in Platinum, a timepiece launched into the teeth of a fearsome economic downturn, prohibitively priced, and in the idiosyncratic rectangular shape that never sells in volume unless you're JLC, Richard Mille, or Cartier, all of which conspire to make this possibly the scarcest Alanga Unzona tourbillon not made of steel. The timepiece that you see right here is extraordinary, but it is not overwhelming in size. 29 millimeters wide, precisely 29.6 by 10.4 millimeters thick, it's actually quite slim, and from lug to lug, 46.4 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Let's take a quick look at the hardware and the software of this watch. You can see that the strap is large rectangular scale alligator leather with a contrasting silver stitch. You can see a folded edge. Note that this is an Alango Unzona factory strap in outstanding condition, and it comes with a rarity for Alango Unzona, which is a full deployant clasp rather than the standard pin buckle. Platinum, of course, to match the case, insurance against droppage while donning or removing at bedside. Finished as every longa is, superbly and with an eye for detail. Satin finished mid case, lugs stepped up and out with high polish. There's a lovely angular tiered double plinth to the bezel. As you can see, there are two stages before we reach the lip abutting the crystal itself. And note that the crystal is cambered to arc over the dial. The high polish and the satin contrasting beautifully. The watch features a sterling silver dial that has been anodized this medium gray. So it is a solid silver dial in a platinum case. You'll appreciate some of the details here and let's talk about them. White gold indices, white gold hands, white gold frame for the date, white gold Roman numerals. And of course we have a tourbillon regulator beaten away at 21,600 vibrations per hour and beautifully free sprung with an overcoil hairspring. This is as good as it gets. You'll appreciate that there is a power reserve indicator for the 120 hour manual wind power reserve. You'll also appreciate the fact that there is a constant second sub register that is separate from the tourbillon itself and that matters because this watch has the scarce hacking tourbillon function that you'll see on only a precious few luxury timepieces. The ability to set a tourbillon watch to the second is as rare as hen's teeth on a rooster. Now you'll also appreciate, I'm going to get as close as I can here, the hand finishing of the tourbillon carriage which features both satinated fat setting as well as high polish black surfaces. So that black polish turning black except at the one angle at which it reflects light. Note that the cap of the tourbillon staff is actually a cut diamond, not synthetic like the rubies in the movement. There are two real brilliant cut diamonds. There's a second one below the tourbillon in this movement. As you can see, there is a pusher adjuster to adjust the date, which is the panorama datum or the outsized date that we're used to seeing on longer watches. Flip it all over and you can see caliber L0421. Let's get as close as we can without corrupting the image. You can see there is plenty of freehand finishing adjusted in five positions like a chronometer. You can see that there are German silver bridges and plates. That is the nickel copper zinc alloy used to reference the pocket watch era, the copper giving it its golden hue. Glasuta stripes. As you can see, darker on one side, lighter on the other, a sign of abrasive wheel stripes rather than stamped. Note that there are both black polished and fire blued screws, and there are jewels set in golden chaton fixed in place by blued screws, a nod to the pocket watch era when it was easier to press a jewel into a precision golden chaton and then fix it to a bridge or plate by screw. Now, of course, you can see the spectacular pocket watch inspired spiral style third wheel that drives the tourbillon regulator as well as the spirals on the wheels of the winding train and the black polished pocket watch style click which you can see in action of course beaten away at 21,600 vibrations per hour with a one minute period the tourbillon has a loud and vocal voice as almost all tourbillon watches are this one is quite vocal 30 meters water resistance so maybe technically it's not perfect but then again that's why you have an odysseus for those times when you need to get wet and wild by my estimation there are probably no more than a few dozen of these in existence so if you want the ultimate in finish exclusivity and teutonic character you want the alanga unzona cabaret tourbillon Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com to live the dream.